There are times when there's a need to reduce video length, trimming off a few seconds at the start and maybe even at the end of the video clip. In many cases, trimming just the start of the video will meet our needs because trimming the end of the video is easier to do in the timeline. For demonstration purposes, I have a very small project here. I have two still images, one at the start, one at the end. Sitting between the two is a piece of video around 46 seconds in length. To trim the beginning of the video, we need to be working in the timeline window. The video is selected, so I can press play and I can determine exactly which part of this video I'd like to trim away. The bird turns around in a moment, just a few seconds before it dives under the water. So I'm going to hit the spacebar to stop it at that point because I'm choosing that point to trim this video. We'll find what we're looking for in the slide list way up at the top left of the screen, but it's much more convenient to just right click and choose trim from the beginning of the video. And as I do this, if you watch the video, well, you can see it's reduced in length considerably. So if I put my cursor back to this point and press play, there you can see the video has been trimmed to exactly the point I want because I wanted to catch what's just about to happen when the bird goes down for some food. Now trimming the end of the video almost comes as an automatic byproduct because once we start to synchronize a slideshow with sound we tend to know exactly where this particular image needs to live and that is going to determine the length of the entire video. Now this method trims the video in the timeline of our presentation as we're making it. But if we want to trim a video that could be exported as a standalone file, or maybe if we were making an executable presentation, we may want the video length to be more precise. In that scenario, we can use the Convert Trim Video Clip Tool. Now to do that, you can see that I've come back to the slide list, but I haven't yet dragged the original video down between those two stills. What I'm going to do is select it from the file list here, right click and choose Convert Trim Video. From here, I need to go to the Trim Video button and this is where we can make the cut. The first thing we notice is there doesn't appear to be a play button here, but in fact we do have one because if I press and hold the up arrow alongside the start time here, I effectively play my video and I can see exactly the point I need to get to where I want to cut. Now wherever that's likely to be, and I'll just select 20 seconds for the moment, just I think that's about right, that's just before the bird dives, but it does leave the bird there for a second or two. But what I'm also going to do is to click the down arrow alongside the end time, and that brings a cut from the rear. So now I can see the overall duration of my video. I could precisely make it, well, almost 15 seconds, but I've got 15.8 seconds, which is probably going to meet most of our needs. So if I click OK and OK, what you'll notice that PTE AV Studio is doing pretty quickly is to create a complete copy of our video. It's not affecting the original. It's given us a complete copy. And if I close this here, you can see it even labels it with the word converted. So now I could drag that down between the two stills and we can be confident that we've got the front of the clip and the end of the clip nicely trimmed. If you did have a need to be more precise with the length of your video clip, one idea is to create our presentation with a holding image in place of our videos. We can synchronize the slideshow with music using those holding images. 
And when we're done, we can see in the slide list the exact length of video that we need. Then we can trim the front and end accordingly. Remember that you can download this video below. If you also have suggestions for video topics, please drop them in the comments or email me on my website. Remember that with audiovisual there are no hard and fast rules. It's the end result that counts and that depends a lot on our attention to detail. I'll see you next time.